I'm, I'm still young. I'm not going to leave a one-year-old daughter. I'm not going to die because I have a one-year-old daughter that needs a mom. This operation is something that I've been waiting for for years now since this started. I've always wanted an operation that's, that's able to at least take all of it out or just being hopeful that it, it will be taken off. I'm just feeling whether the skin moves over the tumour. It may well be that your nose, the bone inside, will have to go and so we'll replace that with the rib. So what I'll do is the strut of rib will come over from here and come over and attach to there so it'll give you what looks like a nose. Okay? Yes, I believe he is my last chance because at the moment, as we speak, he's the only one that says he's able to do it. So I believe Professor Hutchinson is my last hope. Um, we, you know, everything's set up for Monday for a big operation, but if at the last minute you say, I don't want to go ahead, that's fine. You know, that's, it's your life, it's not mine. I'm, we, we're called consultants because you consult us for advice. Sure. And we give our best advice. What we're proposing to do is a much bigger operation um, where we join, where the neurosurgeon and I join <coughs> hands basically through your face, um, making a, a big hole between your face and your brain and sealing it afterwards with the reconstruction I put in. I don't care about scars on your face. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to take the tumour out and so yes. I think that that's the best way to do it. And the big problem with it is, and I talked about this, is that there's a three to five percent chance that it fails. And if it fails, it fails a hundred percent. So that means the whole muscle, bone and everything dies and that then leaves you with a great big hole. And what that means is that you will probably die because you'll end up with meningitis because we won't be able to seal the hole effectively. So although the risk of failure is very, very low, the, if it does fail, it's catastrophic. For me, it's been a personal disaster. I've, uh, you know, Failure doesn't happen often, but when failure happens, you, you have to confront it um, and you have to try and work out, particularly when you've got to save somebody's life, you've got to try and find ways around the problem. You know, I, I'm not into the business of battling problems head on and using a blunderbuss to go through our blood vessels. I, I'd much rather use intelligence and, and other people with skills that I don't have to, to try and find solutions to the problem. We're quite, we're quite a religious family, you know, and Tambu is herself is very religious. And I think she's, she, said to me, she said it to me many times, she said, you know, I know this is a difficult time in my life, but I don't think, I'm not, I'm not going to allow this to kill me. That's what she said to me many times. I wouldn't say that I was a beauty queen myself. I was always the chubby one, but I was behind cheering on my sister. She was the model. I just think that had, I always ask myself, had it been me, maybe I would have already given up, but she keeps just pushing and she keeps pushing even me. She tells me, don't be scared. Don't be scared because everything is all right. So her strength has, I think she's come this far because of the strength that she has.